Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. Yay! Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking in. We're going to give you a few more pointers on Android 10 on the Mi A2. Remember, I got this at uh, 2 in the morning Sunday. So I've had it Sunday and I didn't get to play with it much because I was really tired. I did a short follow-up. Now it's that, which has had more hits than anything. And, uh, <coughs> <coughs> we're going to go over some other features I found that I like. I think that the premise of this is, is this worth your money still in 2020? And the answer is... You're going to have to watch the whole damn video to find that out. Let's watch the intro and a short tube buddy ad and we'll get right to it. Hi folks, Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com as you will see coming up on the screen right now. TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly. If you have a free version, uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing and, uh, and uploading. And it, it's an excellent tool. Uh, as far as prices go, the price is coming up on the screen. Um, if you get the free version, a lot of times they'll offer you uh, they'll make you an offer. They made me an offer, and I'm only paying four dollars and fifty cents a month. So check it out at the link that you're going to see on the screen, and at the link below, uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high end cheap tech. And now let's get back to that video we were doing. All right, folks, I'm back now. Once again, please watch the whole damn video. I'll give you my final conclusions about whether or not you should buy this phone in 2020 versus the Mi 3 or any other phone. And I'll tell you why I came to those conclusions. So, next, I did promise to tell you about... You know, anything I found on Android 10 that I really like on the Mi A2. And, you know, it'd be the same on any other Android 1. You will like it, I hope. Uh, it'll, I shot it at 720p so I could make sure the whole screen would fit. Of course, this whole thing will come out in 1080p, 30 frames a second. So, it should look okay. So let's get to the next segment now. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about, uh, you know, once again, 24 hours to find this stuff out. And as usual, I'm going to say right now, read the damn description below. There's links in there for the Mi A2, the Mi A3, and the Empow selfie stick. All good stuff. Uh, and the Mi A3 is going to get the update probably right away to Android 10. So let's talk using the A to Z screen recorder. Hate to use the little narrow box, but that's what we got. All right, folks. Just a quick short. Uh, video capture of my screen here on the Mi A2 as we talk about going into 2020 with this phone and I'm totally happy with it and I'll tell you right now I recommend it totally for next year uh, Android 10 super we got that I like it I think it was a vast improvement in many respects so let's go over some of those quick improvements and then some things I don't like. So you can go up here, swing over here and hit Nightlight. 
and go back in here and notice, uh-oh, his screen went kind of yellowy. Yeah, it's, it, it's essentially, on other phones, they call it a blue-white filter. Uh, you can actually schedule this inside the settings. I'm not going to go through how to do that. Uh, just type in nightlight, and you'll find it. And you can set when it turns on and when it turns off. So you can set it from sunset to sunrise. You can set it, you know, well, I watch stuff all the way to 10 p.m., but starting at 9 switch to the blue light filter you'll get used to it it's not that bad and when you're done with it you know, or if you don't want it you know you just turn it back off and guess what you're back to your nice bright normal screen well i use a dark wallpaper because that saves battery dark theme is another thing you'll want to turn it on so your apps have Dark mode, as everyone else calls it. Dark mode. No, it's dark theme. A lot of apps can use it, surprisingly. Um, it, it's effective uh, at saving your battery. I've had the screen on this thing for 20, 25 minutes now, I think, at, at full blast. Another thing, another way to save your battery is, you know, use adaptive brightness. You go in here to, let's go through this. Yeah. Well, you'll see, nightlight is nightlight schedule. Yeah, it's right at the top there. Display. And then, dark theme. And I'm damn near wide open on brightness. But you can turn on adaptive brightness. Right now, we don't want that on. We want it to just stay nice and bright because it's not all that bright in here. So, all that being said, that's fantastic. Now, one thing I did notice. I switched over immediately to the nav buttons along the bottom because I believe for, you know, somebody who's never had a smartphone is buying a budget smartphone or is used to budget smartphones you're gonna like these nav buttons and uh, you know they're easier I mean you just hit home and you can look at your recent apps and scroll through and go yeah clear it all kill it all all right it's all gone all gone and it's pretty quick but it used to be I could reach down here and hit this and my assistant would come up. Now I am forced to say, Hey, Schmoogle! Yeah, I'm not going to say that other word, because otherwise the damn assistant will pop up. Uh, so, Schmoogle, you can guess what that means. Um, that's fine, but I much prefer, if you're in a room with a bunch of chatterboxes people who just can't it's like zip it you wanted an answer I'll let me look it up because it's picking up all their voices and it, you know it, it, I get these it's like you asked me a question shut the f up all right I need to get this turned back on I know you can map that button for a hold down and uh gesture controls I don't know if it'll carry back over I haven't tried that yet we'll see the only one you know, thing I'm glad about <coughs> that I can use my game gaming headset to record this and then uh, let's get back to me talking right at you and uh I'll ask you for what you want me to tell you about Android 10. And then you'll put that in the comments. And you'll subscribe. You know, you'll subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We're still trying to get to 400. We're creeping up a little, a little better than before. Uh, but... 
do I recommend this phone going to 2020? Still, yes. You can still get it on Amazon at 159. Buy it. It's a great phone. It, it'll take snapshots. It'll take video at 1080p, 30 frames a second, with EIS, using the standard camera. You can use an external mic if you use open camera, which, yeah, you know, is a free app. Looks like this. Oh, I probably shouldn't open that. But, uh, turn on location. Yeah, uh, whatever. Uh -huh. And who knows what? Why I got that? Oh, I hit Google Rewards. Turn on location history. Uh, Google Rewards is another great app, by the way. I write up open cameras above it. You don't really need to see open camera. It's just going to be the same camera. The won't quality won't be as great, but the audio will be. Fantastical. Only way I found on most of these dongle-based phones to uh, plug a mic in and get it to work. So, all that being said, let's get back to me. We're done with this portion. So let's do that right now. And. Okay, folks, so, yeah, I didn't really learn a lot in the last 24 hours because I can't sit around like a lot of guys and, you know, play with my smartphone all day at work because I'm doing other stuff, like filming videos, taking photos, and uh, when I get home, I have to shoot a video. You know, I might get a chance to play around for a half hour, 45 minutes. Uh, so I gave you, you know, a couple, one cool thing that I learned about the night light. Very good. And, of course, make sure you use that adaptive brightness whenever you're not doing something that is critical to having a bright screen, like going outside and shooting videos on a cloudy day and then you turn this way and you can't see your screen anymore because it's decided... You don't need that much brightness. Just turn it off. Just make sure you turn it back on when you go back inside. Well, so as I promised, I was going to tell you why I reached the conclusion that the Mi A2 is still a good phone in 2020. And it is. I highly recommend it. Uh... The cameras are good. We're looking at one right now. You're looking at one. That's what we're shooting on. And I'll process the video. Now, if you go to the links in the description below, you'll see one for the Mi A2, the Mi A3, and the uh, Impal selfie stick, which is giving us the fill light to make this bright enough that I don't have to worry about anything and of course we're an open camera so I move my head and it doesn't get dark and light and dark and light it just the exposure is locked I like that I don't think the video quality is nearly as well but we're getting the audio quality uh, so yes the Mi A2 is still worth your money if you want to spend a little more get the Mi A3 if you must have that one Angle camera. If you're in shooting movies, right, please explain to me in the feedback why you must have that phone with only a 720 display. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with 720. My mobile G3 has it, and by God, if that thing could do wireless charging like this one on the Alcatel 7, I'd only use this for videos but you will notice if you go to amazon site it'll most of the sellers are brain dead and they'll tell you oh it's a snapdragon 665 it's a snapdragon 660 on the mi a2 
Mi A3 has a 665. The Mi A2 660 absolutely blows away as far as Antutu scores the Mi A3. Geekbench and other scores, yeah, the 665 is higher, but don't base your life on the processor, in other words. <coughs> if you're not a gamer, get the Mi A3, because you might want the, you know, AMOLED display, even though it's only at 720. So when you watch a video on YouTube, like this one, the best resolution you're going to see of that is 720. I shoot everything at 1080p, 30 frames a second. I could shoot at Ultra 4K, but why? Exactly. Thank you. So I'm giving this a thumbs up. Buy it. Still good for 2020. Budget phone. 159 bucks right now on Amazon. Great deal. It comes in gold only as far as the link goes. You, know, you might have to poke around and move to the links to uh, find it once you get, you know, use that link. Um, and if you have Prime, you'll have it in two days. So, uh, pretty cool. Free shipping, blah, 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 blah. The Mi A3 is also available on Amazon on Prime, about 180 right now. That's up to you. Must you have AMOLED? Well, then you damn well better learn how to turn your adaptive brightness on and follow all the rules for not getting the screen burned in. Because that can occur within a couple of months on AMOLED. Don't believe, oh, it'll take years. No, it won't. Because a lot of people, I oh, just wang the brightness all the way up and oh, it's so brilliant and the deep blacks. Bullshit. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. Uh, there's nothing wrong with me, actually. I do want to get my hands on one. And I'll, tell, I'll be totally honest with you, as far as phones go that I have sitting around here, the new mobile G3, despite all the shortcomings of microphone, etc., which is perfectly good for phone calls, just not so good for shooting videos. <coughs> if, it, if I could put the wireless charging dongle thing that I use on this phone and on the Alcatel, and on the, well, I don't really use it on the Exxon M, but I could. Uh, <coughs> I did for a vi the first video I did on it. <coughs> Excuse the coughing. Still got Kind of sucks getting old and having congestive heart failure. Don't get old. So we're done. Check the description below and if you found this useful informative in any way like share and subscribe every subscriber counts <coughs> and every share might get us another subscriber even if you don't i'll link the last two videos of the me a2 and android 10 at the end of this thanks for watching